Well, right over yonder, you can barely see it at the back of the cab, is an old international truck. As you can see, he's been sitting there for a pretty good while. If we can get over to it, we're going to see if we can get her running. Yes, sir, this may be the worst one I have tried to pull out so far. I'm standing on top of my truck, by the way, on top of the bed rail, just so I can get a look at it. Um, we may, i tell you what, there's a little path right there. We may walk around yonder, might get a better look at it, and I got to go back to the house and get some utensils to clear this stuff out of the way. I didn't know it was this bad. I looked at that old truck about a year ago. <laughs> I don't remember it being grown up like this. It was in the middle of summer, too, when I looked at her. But I don't remember it being this bad. No, sir, sure don't. Uh, well, there's a little bit better shot of it right there. Um, tell you what. Let me wade through these weeds right here. And we'll get over and look at it a little bit better. Well, there's a little bit better shot of the front end. I love these trucks right here. Yes, sir, I do. I wish my old dump truck was this body style. I just think they look really, really good. Anyway, it is a Lodestar 1600. That's about all I can tell you right now. Um, we'll have to see if we can get to the door after I clear these briars. I'm telling you, this is nothing but a briar patch. Um, the only history I got on it is this. The feller that owned this farm bought it at an auction 20, 25 years ago, drove it home, parked it right here. That's where it's been sitting ever since. Uh, they told me it had, had brand new exhaust when he bought it. So if we can ever get to it and get it pulled out or whatever, we'll have to check that exhaust out and just see what it looks like. But, well, let me just tell you right now, I ain't got but maybe an hour a day. Like it's rained all day long today. And then MLS, you know, it never quits. Uh, I was loading stuff in my pickup truck. Jumped in it to come up here, and well, the battery just completely died. So I had to run to town, go get a battery, and that burned up another hour. So we ain't got a whole lot of time, but tell you what, let me get in the door if I can and see if I can see what year it is. And then we'll pop the hood and we'll just go straight to working on it and let's see if she's stuck. Well, I ain't got a thing to cut these briars with, so <laughs> I'm going to take this uh, big old breaker bar here. Try to make me path. I just backed my truck up in here and knocked a bunch of these down. But there's still a whole bunch left. Alright. I think I might can get to that door now. Let me get over and see. Oh, 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 dead gum. Ooh, that sucker hurts. Ow. Ow. It's a wonder this didn't break the window. I'll get it out of the way. I don't know what that fits, but it sure is wide. Huh. Oh yeah! Now this right here will probably be a really good area to run up on the snake, and I sure hope I don't. <laughs> so I might not come back. Ow. All right. Get off of me. Ow. All right, let's see what year it is. Uh, here's a tag down here. It says, well, it don't say. It says the 1600. May have to take that serial number and look it up. I'll do that in a little bit. But here's the interior. Um, it looks a little different than mine. But like I said, I love these body styles a lot better. I just think the front end looks really, really good. Uh, got a two-speed axle. As you can see right there, it's, you know, about like I thought it would be. But actually, you know, that right there, there's not a lot of rust. Right there, what about over here? No, that's a solid truck right there. Sure is. I will tell you this, really, really strong mouse pee smell. I mean, it's it's worse than Dumas, and Dumas was pretty bad. Yes, sir. Um, I would do a walk around, but... Well, as you can see, I can't walk around it. Um, 
I reckon, hey, look here. That exhaust is brand new. Look at that right there. That is some shiny, shiny 25-year-old exhaust. Yes, sir. It sure is. Anyway, let's get up here and see if we can't pop the hood, maybe. And uh, I'll throw a wrench on it, and we'll see if the motor's stuck. All right, will this hood open? Oh, yeah. Sure. Well, bottom radiator hose has been eaten completely away. Yes, sir. It sure has. Let me just get you all in here, and I'll show you. Well, the heart is, says international on the valve cover. Uh, brake master cylinder, cap was missing. No fluids. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have a little bit of brake issues. Yes, sir. It also has a hydraulic clutch, so we'll have to find a master cylinder for that, I'm sure. Probably the Slave 2. Um, sparking plug wires. There's two attached. This one has been eaten. Don't know where the fourth one is over here. Um, there's a hose been eaten off right there. The bottom radiator hose, look at there. The spring, see that spring still there? They ate from there all the way up to here. They ate the whole dang hose. <laughs> what in the world? There ain't a whole lot of room to get something down in there to see if this thing's stuck. I may try grabbing the fan, firstly. Um, let me get the other side of the hood open. Uh, maybe. Goodness, look at all the crap vines. Let me see if I can get that open. We'll look look over there. Well, it looks about like I thought it would. Both heat tree hoses have been gnawed. Look at that right there. <laughs> what in the world? Um, there's the other one right there. They left these spark plug wires alone, though. That's kind of odd. Of course, we'll have to buy new wires. Um, might pull the cap here in a minute, just look at the points. If they look okay, we may just clean them up. Um, it's, you know, about like I thought it'd be, though. Let me, uh, let me grab hold of this fan, and uh, let's see if this thing is stuck or not. I can tell y'all right now, I'm gonna have to go heavy on the Skeeter spray tomorrow when we start working on this thing. They are just, I mean, covering me up. All right, is she stuck? I do believe so. Yes, sir. It ain't, it ain't a moving. Ooh. I can't get nothing down there, I don't think. Um, let me see. Oh, sir, this fan trail is just, I mean, right in the way. This is not good. This is not going to be easy, I can tell you that. Need to pull a radiator, but I gotta pull all this crap to get it. I'll tell you what, fellas. I'm gonna have to remove this hood and get the radiator out so I can get something on that crank. If we can't get her unstuck, there ain't no sense in fooling with it. No, sir, sure ain't. Well, here's the deal with this old truck. It's, it's, this is the worst, <laughs> far as location. This is the worst one I have tried to do so far. It's surrounded by junk. Great big old pile of tires here. There's a lot of old antique farm equipment right in here. Y'all can't really see it. It's just briar patch all around the back. It's, well, it's gonna be dang near impossible to work on the thing right here. So here's what I'm gonna do. Tomorrow, we're gonna bring a chainsaw, cut all these little trees out of the way and get some of this old farm equipment pushed out of the way. And if they will, we'll hook a tractor to this old truck drag him right out here in a clear and man that'll make things so much easier for me it sure will also and oh by the way we are back on the moostang farm yes sir uh let me walk right up here and i'll show you where moostang was moostang was right about there yes sir and as you can see this field this year it is uh, a tobacco field um that's that's how they do farm fellers It'll be, they'll raise crops for a few years, and then they'll put cows on it for a few years, about just flop it back and forth. Anyway, tomorrow, we're gonna try to drag this old truck out of here. Maybe, fingers crossed, get it running. Till the next day, and here's the deal. I talked to one of the fellers that farms this land. Well, it's one of the sons that, of the guy that owns the land. Um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut that tree down right there, get it out of the way, cause it's probably gonna hang that bumper um there's a few wheels and tires here that i may have to get out of the way right here i don't think there's anything over there on that side so what we're gonna do we're gonna hook to the back of it we're gonna drag her out there ain't nothing but briars back there um he can't get to it for a couple of days he's got some other stuff going on so i'm gonna go ahead and get it ready and then we'll come back when he's ready hook to it with a tractor we'll pull this little feller out well, MLS, y'all know, it, it never it never sleeps. Um, a primer bulb cracked on me. So that won't start and run. 
So we'll have to cut that tree down another day. I may move some of them tires and whatnot. Uh, well, let me just tell you though about MLS. Yesterday it hit me pretty hard. This truck here, the battery died. I mean, died. Had to get a new one. Right after I did that, well, I turned the headlight switch on. It started smoking. Dash lights don't work. Headlights, well, they might work and they might not. So I got to get a headlight switch for that. Then I went to town in the S10 last night. Windshield wipers quit working. And then my right side headlight went out. Yes, sir. When it rains, it pours. MLS never takes a break. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can't maybe move some of these tires. And then when I find a bulb for that primer, I'll, uh, we'll cut that tree down. Well, it looks like moving these tires, that ain't going to be as easy as I thought because they're laid this way. These have got all these piled on top of them. Plus, there's briars everywhere. Yes, sir. Let me get in here and see what I can't do with them. Well, speaking of MLS, <laughs> um, I needed to get in my toolbox here. Well, I keep it locked because I don't want that top coming open and the drawers, you know, sliding out. So I got my key and opened it. Well, I dropped her. I've been looking for 10 minutes. I <laughs> cannot find it. No, sir. Um, this is, I'm telling you, it never rests. Well, I got us a path cleared. I got all these tires out of the way, except for maybe one way on back here. I can't get to it. Too many briars. Throw you on it. We'll just have to run over it. Also, um, I have a breaker bar. You know, it's like three foot long. Using it as a briar getter out of the wayer, And <laughs> it has it literally disappeared. I have no clue where it's at. No, sir. Um, anyway, maybe I'll find it eventually. Once I find me a primer bowl for the chainsaw, got to cut them little bits of trees down. Of course, we've got to cut this one and this one down. And then we'll be ready to uh, hook a tractor to it and pull it on out. Like I said, that'll be a couple of days. Um, anyway, I still ain't found my key. I got to find my breaker bar. I just, I love MLS. It's awesome. I found it. I found it. If it had been a snake, it had bit me. I'm going to the house. Well, it's been a few days since I've been over here fooling with this old truck. I just got done getting the old C30 running. Um, I think I left y'all off at getting these tires cleared out of the way. I don't think there's anything over there on that side other than maybe there's a vine hanging there. I may cut it down. Here's the plan for today. We're going to cut this tree down right here, get it out of the way because I'm afraid it'll hook that bumper. Then we're going to back the old four wheel drive up to it. See if it'll drag it out. If it don't, well, we'll just have to wait till this afternoon uh, when one of them boys gets home and we hook a tractor to it. But I can't do nothing talking to y'all, so let's get busy. <laughs> starting off good chain jumped off it appears that mls has visited early today yep <laughs> when the chain come off it messed the bottom side of it up i had four or five teeth that didn't want to fit down in the groove well, i've been filing on them for 10 or 15 minutes now i got one that won't be stubborn can't get him to go down in there let me work on him a little bit more and we'll go cut the tree down let us try this again This little vine right here is causing a whole lot of trouble. I mean a whole lot of trouble. That was a lot of work, yes, especially when your asthma was kicked in. <laughs> that grapevine wrapped all around that tree. Good gracious. There it is over there. That was a little bit of work. I didn't get to cut all this bumper off that I wanted to. And I'm not fooling with a chainsaw anymore. Fooly on it. It's going to go the way of that green one, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, just got done looking at this side over here. I think with the exception of one little apparatus there, might hit the mirror. I think we're good over there. Um, if it drives straight, I think we're okay. Also, 
if I can see it in the video, I'll show you. By the time that tree fell, there's a big old mouse come running up his fender down in that door. So they're still living in here. Anyway, let me hook the old four-wheelie drive up to it and give her a go. Well, here is the back of the truck. You might can see the cab right there. See all these white flowers? I wish y'all could hear it. The bees, honeybees, they're in here. Uh, luckily, the end of it is right here. So I'm hoping I can hook a chain to that right there and I ain't got to get off in there and get stung about 15,000 times. No, sir. Not a fan of that. <laughs> anyway, let me back the truck up. See if this thing will come out. Well, I think I moved it about two inches. Yep. Look at the hole that that tire is in. It's, well, it's as deep as the as the tire itself, six or seven inches in the ground. That's pretty deep. I imagine they're all like that. The old four-wheelie drive, well, he just ain't got enough weight. Plus, the chain is going downhill to the truck. So every time I get on it, it's going to, you know, take weight off that back end. It just ain't going to do it. So we'll have to wait till this afternoon when one of them can get on the tractor, hook to it, and yank it on out. Well, he told me he couldn't uh, pull this truck out today because he's tied up. He told me I could jump on this tractor and do it myself, so that's what we're going to do. Let me hook that chain up and see if this thing will come out of there. You know, most channels on YouTube, they do revivals. No, sir, not me. I do resurrections. Oh, yeah. Been left for dead a long time ago. That's the only kind of like. I don't want to fool with no cream puff vehicles. No. Ain't no challenge in that. Y'all ain't going to believe this, though. Every one of these tires are pumped up except for the inside one on this side over here. I find that pretty amazing. Yep. I was expecting to see these flat. They were just sunk in the ground that, that far. We're about out of daylight. I got to go do some more sorghum mashing. But tomorrow morning, we'll jump on this thing, pull the plugs, uh, go to putting the acetones and the transmission fluids in there. I wish I could do it now, let's said all night, but I don't have time. I'm wondering if I can climb under it maybe and get to that crank bolt. We'll just have to see, but I bet you if, if I want to get on that crankshaft, we'll have to pull that radiator. Maybe, maybe we can get to the flywheel like we did the old C30. We'll have to look at it tomorrow, but for now, well, there the old girl is. She ain't seen the sunlight in a long time. Well, I've already been under the front of the truck looking at the crank bolt, and it's just impossible to get to unless you pull this radiator. And I really don't want to do that, no, sir. So I got to look at back here. There is a cover back here on the bell housing. I think if we take that off, we can get to the flywheel and get us a pry bar on it. So let me get under there and take that off. Uh, it's a little cramped in there, so yeah, I probably won't video that. I'll be back in a minute. I don't know. I don't know how well y'all can see that because I can't hardly see it. <laughs> Got the cover off and there is a flywheel. So let me go get a pry bar and pry on it. Well, fellas, I managed to get her broke loose. Oh, yeah. I had to use this crooked uh, pry bar because the exhaust and frame and least everything, there's just no room under there, really. And I'm amazed because it's you know, such a big truck. Did break free, but let me tell you, it is tight. It is lock jaw tight. <laughs> If you ain't seen Lockjaw when I first started working on him, how tight it was, well, go look at it. But yes, sir, this is, is real tight. What we're going to do, I'm going to pull the plugs out and we're going to pour some stuff down in there, let it soak. Maybe all day because I got other stuff I can go do. Come back tomorrow, maybe it'll free up a little bit better. If it does, then we'll go working on it, see if we can't get it running. All right, let's see if we can get these here sparking plugs out of this old motor. 
Uh, also, oh, by the way, I'll show y'all in a little bit. It's got a tag on it, and it says 94. So this thing may have been sitting here about 29, 30 years. I'll have to talk to them again. Uh, also, the battery over it's a Duralast. It's got C3 and a 3.3. Uh, I don't know what that means. I might try to find that out too. That'll be more accurate than the license plate as you know as far as how long this thing is set. The plugs pretty black, been running rich, but there is no pearl, so that's a good sign. Last one on this side looks about the same. Yep, black from soot running rich. Let me get my stuff and we'll pour it in these here and then we'll go to the other side. All right, here we go. This is transmission fluid and acetone, just like always. That there's full because she's running out, so let me go to the next one. Or maybe it ain't. Yeah, it run out. All right, let me go to the other side and do the same thing. Got the other side used up. And let me show you the sticker on this band tree. C3 and then 3-3. There's a shot of the front of it. There's some kind of part number right there, too. I wonder... You know, the C might mean March, and the 3 might be 93, and that sort of coincides with the uh, license plate back here. Let me let me come back here and show you. With well, RTs right there, expires 331 of 94. Yes, sir. Um, I always like to know. It, it'd be interesting to know uh, the year on that battery. I might have to do a little research on that. I might even go to AutoZone and talk to him. I don't know. There's a fella there that's worked there for 30 years. I might ask him. Anyway, gonna let this sit here overnight, come back tomorrow. I might throw a band tree in it and see if it started to turn it over and get it freed up. If it does, then well, we'll go to working on this thing. Fingers crossed, she's gonna fire up. Well, it's the next day again, I think. I ain't real sure. I've been working on three or four different projects at the same time here lately. And I don't know what day it is, no sir. I do know this, the main goal for today Swap the battery out. See if that thing will turn over freely with the starter. If it does that, then our minor goal, our secondary goal, if you will, just to see if it'll hit. Pour some gas down in the carburetor. Got to have uh, sparking plug wires, which I got the old ones from the C30 we just got running. I think they'll fit good enough for now. And anyway, just see if the thing will hit. It don't have to run. I just want to hear it try to fire. If it does, you know, sort of run, well, that's just a bonus. Here's the thing with this old truck. I don't even know what year it is. Uh, there's just not a lot of information on these old trucks. Uh, guessing it's late 60s, early 70s. Don't even know what size that motor is. Um, matter of fact, well, there's a pad on the passenger side over here. Right down in there. I'm gonna try to get my phone camera down in there, take a picture of it. At least we'll know what size the motor is. Um, you know, I've been looking up parts and well, you ain't going to run to Ireland and get parts for this. No, sir, I done looked it up. Uh, so I'm going to have to take inventory and then just order them all at once online. And, well, it may take two or three days to get them. I don't know. But for now, let's just put the battery in it and see if it'll turn over. Here's something odd. I'm trying to get these band tree cables off this band tree. And, well, firstly, <laughs> this cable is upside down. These are tapered. It's supposed to go like that right there. They got that upside down. They got the red on the ground. They got the black on the positive. I don't know, fellas. I ain't got a clue. If it works, hey, who cares? Let's get this battery changed out first. Then. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get this up in here. Oh, yeah. All right, let's give her a test. I ain't getting no sparky sparks. So that's good. This is broke and the nut's gone, so let me go get my usual vice grips put on there. All right, if I can get to the star tar, I'm gonna put my little wires on my gun on it. And we'll see if it'll turn over as a shield right in the way. That might come off with that one bolt. Let me see if I can get it out of the way. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna break it off. I don't think I know what to do. Ta-da! That's it. It went just like that. Starter set here. I don't know. Get out of here. Now I can get to the wars. 
I got a 50-50 chance of having that on the right wire. It's got, you know, your big post and then two small ones, just like Chevrolet. Uh, so I'm assuming one of them's for ignition while it's starting, and the other one is the actual solenoid. Got the right one. She ain't gonna turn over. I'm telling y'all, that motor is, is pretty tight. I'm gonna get under there with the pry bar again and go to turning on it. If you don't like the sight of blood, well, turn your head now. I got into a fight. My prior bar, yeah, he won. <laughs> uh, he walked me pretty good. That's probably going to be black tomorrow. Uh, let me get this cleaned up. And I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got myself all cleaned up so y'all can y'all can look again. Um, prior bar slipped when I was prying on the, on the flywheel there. Let me tell you, it hurt. Well, you know, in the cartoons, when the little feller, they'll get hit in the head and they see stars. Well, I didn't see stars, but I saw a white light. I ain't kidding you. It hurt. <laughs> um, anyway, I, this, I, I believe it's going to be a lost cause, fellas. It got worse. The, the longer I turned it over, it got worse. It got harder to turn. I am getting fluid out of the back cylinder. And then what I'm assuming is number four. Uh, so that tells me that those two at least are really crudded up. and won't let any fluid by. Um, I'm going to let it sit, let that stuff soak a few more days, but I'm going to say we're probably done with this. I hate it too because I absolutely love that body style of International. They just look sharp to me. You know, they're sitting kind of low already, and a lot of them will lower it, you know, sort of make a rat rod, and then, man, they look good. I uh, did find out what size motor it is. I'll put a picture up right here. It's a 304, so it's a small V8. Like I said, I really hate that it ain't going to run, but I, I, it would probably take pulling the motor out, tear it apart, clean everything up, put it back together. We might do that sometime, but not not anytime soon. If we do that, it'll be took to my shop. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave it sitting here for a few more days. We'll come back, give it one more try, but I'm going to say we're probably done with this old truck. We are, in fact, done with this old truck. Yes, sir. Um, it's, it's another lock, y'all. You know, I got it broke free, but it just never would free up. It would take pulling the motor out and doing a, you know, probably a hone and re-ring to make the thing run again. But you just might see this old truck on this channel again. Oh yeah, so be looking for that. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching.